Welcome back to the Minecraft Survival Let's Play. This is episode 3. I just want to say thank you for all the support you guys left on the last episode. Uh, I truly appreciate it. And I do apologize about having a delay on episode 3. Everything should be back to normal. So just check on the channel on the daily basis for uploads of the Minecraft Survival Let's Play. And I might sneak in some other things like DayZ. And eventually in the future we're going to have that Craft and Dead roleplay. Which I know a lot of you guys are excited for. But without further ado, let's get started. Don't forget to hit that like button. Let's go see if we can reach 100 likes for today's episode we're gonna be doing a th some farming some enchants and kind of just checking things around for today's episode in the last episode we actually got to do a lot of mining and because of that we got tons of diamonds I also did some off-screen mining as well so we have a total of 19 diamonds some more gold lapis lazuli and we have our 14 obsidian with all this other stuff that we got from the villages that we raided in the first episode for those of you who are new and are looking for the seed the seed is actually down below in the description from now on I uploaded this seed in episode Episode 2 because we did reach our challenge for 100 likes so yeah that's that for those of you who are new welcome as well and yeah so we're gonna actually make our enchantment table today and I do want to show you one more thing I actually worked on oh Jesus another zombie alrighty zombie you're gonna have to go away uh, I actually made a little chicken coop here for our chickens so uh, this is gonna be very temporary for now eventually we're gonna have our farm right across there and as you guys can see I've done a few little things off screen as well I built a little like a little center for our town that we're going to be developing and it's still not complete we're going to work on that a lot more in the future and over here I have a small little path you guys will see more of that in depth as I show you guys later but for now we're going to work on our enchantment table um, and get that sorted out and it's not really going to be like a certain location like a around here it's just going to be something random for temporary use and then eventually we're going to move it over to our main land once we build a bigger house so let's get our obsidian our diamonds and our books first we have to craft ourselves some actual books so do we have any more wood besides Besides using our oak wood. No, we don't. Alright, so we're gonna have to use our oak wood here. We're gonna just like use at least half of it because I don't know how many books this is gonna take. So I believe the books all go in the middle. And then we split this up like that. Alright, cool. Not too bad. Perfect. And we have a few more that we can use. Perfect. So we have a total of 14 books, bookshelves. Uh, so I think that's enough for us. I'm not sure. I don't want to do too much. We do have 25 XP for enchants, which we're going to do some enchants with our books and use uh, some of it to make diamond armor as well. So let's go on ahead and make ourselves the actual... Oh no, I used... I, I need a book. Do I have a book? Do I have an extra book somewhere here? I need one more book. Oh no, I'm going to have to break one of the bookshelves. So I think we're going to have uh, one less. Yep, we're going to have to break a bookshelf, everybody. Rip. Okay, let's just take this down. Alrighty, so it looks like we have 13 total because I need one of the books for our enchantment table, which I completely forgot about. So now we should be good to go. Two diamonds there and three obsidian like so. And we have ourselves another achievement for Enchanter. Looking good so far. And we're going to put this temporarily somewhere around here. I'm almost thinking we can even just place it somewhere nearby there. But it wouldn't be too bad to just have it somewhere around here. Kind of like a flat little area that we can just put this enchantment table and do some small enchants. We'll just put it right over here for now. That should be perfect. Let's just put our bookshelves all around here. Now I don't know exactly how many are going to be enough for to go a full uh, layer around here because obviously we want to do as much enchants as possible. But for what it looks like, we actually may have enough. Uh, no, we do not. We need... Oh, shoot. I messed this up. This should have gone there. Oh, come on, Alex. And why'd you mess this one up? All right, let's go make one more. Uh, let's place this here. That was my mistake. Perfect. And we need at least... All right, there was a mob that just died over there. <laughs> okay, so we need at least one more just to close this all in. But this is enough for now. So let's start enchanting. Uh, let's see what we can get for a diamond sword and on our pickaxe. And then eventually we should do our diamond armor as well. We have a total of 17. So for now, let's go ahead and make ourselves... Uh, let's see, what would be best to do here? I think it'd be safe to say we can keep using this diamond pickaxe. We can always fix it in the future. But let's make ourselves a diamond sword. I think the diamond swords would be much needed for, for our safety here. So let's go with that and see if we can get a good enchant. I do have knockback too, which is also really good. So we can use that for sure. So there we go. We have our first diamond sword. And now we're, I think we're just going to make a diamond chest plate. That would be a good idea, I think, for us. So yeah, we'll do that. We'll make ourselves diamond pants. And that will be all of our diamonds. Now, I want to make sure these are all the diamonds we need for as of right now. Because obviously I'm going to have to go do more uh, exploring for more diamonds. But I think... Oh, no. We should make a helmet. I forgot. A diamond helmet. Because we do need to use our aqua affinity. So that was a good call on me. That was a close one. I could have completely messed that up. And all right. So let's go f finalize our some of our enchantments here. 
and see if we can get something decent on whatever we have. Um, now, I do have books for the sword, but we're going to need an anvil, so we're going to have to definitely craft one of those, which we can always go and make some more, but not a big deal right now. Let's go and see what we can get ourselves here. So we can get um, Thorn 1 and Projectile Protection 1. Not really too happy with that, especially for Diamond. And I know for the helmet, we're going to use the Aqua, so I'm not really going to worry about that too much. I mean, I always could see if there's any other better ones. Not really. Okay, so let's put our sword and see if there's anything better for our sword. Uh, Sharpness 1 and Bane. Ah, uh, man, not really too happy with those either. Let's see what we get for our Diamond Pickaxe. Anything here? Unbreaking 1 and Efficiency 1. So those are pretty not too good of enchants here for us. Wait, could we do an enchant on book? Is that, oh, Feather Falling. Oh, that's actually a good idea. We can even enchant some of the books too. Feather Falling isn't bad. We can put that actually on our diamond boots if we ever make, oh, we can, no, we can't. We need four, two more. All right, you know what? We're gonna do a Feather Falling enchant on one of the books. I think that's actually a pretty good idea. And then I just wanna see if there's anything else that's better here, no. All right, so for now, I think we could do Sharpness. No, oh, that messed up a lot of things. All right, that was probably not a good call on my part. Let's see, oh, Efficiency too. That's a lot better. I think we could definitely go with Efficiency 2 on it. Let's see if our Iron can do anything better. Efficiency 2. I'd rather go with Efficiency 2 on the Iron Pickaxe for now. And eventually we'll save up for a better enchant on our Diamond Pickaxe. So I think that's probably the best bet for now. Maybe maybe not actually. Let's just, let's just hold off. Let's not rush anything. We'll be back for the enchants. Let's get some sleep because it is turning night. Hopefully we have enough to make an anvil. So let's quickly see. Oh, what the... That is so creepy. How are you doing, skeleton? You completely just like... That was crazy. You, he was just waiting for me. I never saw that before in my life. He just creeped up on us. All right, we do have a bow too, which is nice now. Um, all right, let's just store all this in here. Perfect. Uh, looking around, it don't looks, doesn't seem like we have a lot of iron. We have a little bit, actually. 24. We used a lot of it on making a full set of armor, as you guys can tell, and making the shield. But uh, if I think... You need to have a few blocks of iron before you can make an anvil. We have two blocks, and I feel like we don't have enough. Alrighty, so we do need one more block, and we need a few more iron. So what we're going to do is we're going to quickly go on... Actually, let me drop all this gear with us here, because this is like a lot of expensive gear for us. No, no, bad, bad, bad. Let me actually put this in first. Alright, we got a creeper. We can use the creeper here. Just to blow up our... Little skeleton over there. Please blow up. There we go. Didn't take out the skeleton. Wow, that's a first. Okay. Let's eat up. Let's eat up. Let's eat this quickly. And there's some iron that we can snatch. There's another one over here. Have my shield skeleton. Bam. Alright, we got that out of the way. And do I have any torches? I only have one. Okay, let's place that over there. Alright, let's quickly get some iron. We only need a few more to make one more block. And we have enough... Uh, to make ourselves that anvil so we can get our enchants. Just trying to get that uh, enchant with the book. So, uh, not too bad. Get some more iron. There we go. Perfect. All right. Here. Okay, just one block. I'll take it. Let's see if there's anything down here before we leave. And I think we have nine. That should be just about enough. Oh, geez. How you doing, man? Sorry to interrupt. All righty. Is there anything down there? I did see some iron down there, but there could be a few around here somewhere. Nope. Alright, we're gonna have to go get those small amount of iron that I just saw hanging around here. Somewhere here. There it is. Okay, perfect. And that's more than enough for us. So we have at least enough to make an anvil. And I'd be and that is not where I want to be. So let's get the heck out of here. We have 12 plus 6. So we have 18 total, which is more than uh, what I was going for. So I'm happy with that. Let's head back on home. Let's get the heck out of here because we were close on dying a few times. So I do not want to be here. Let's eat up. Let's regen. Uh, let's quickly get those smelting here. And I think we have a perfect amount. We can actually combine these uh, bow and arrows. I think you can still do that, right? Yeah, there we go. And we can actually make ourselves a better bow and arrow, which is not too bad. We can actually put an enchant on it too, which I would, I would actually like to have an enchant on a bow because fighting off creepers with a bow is much easier than uh, fighting them. Uh, with a sword so we probably could do that as well all right let's get some more of this iron and let's start uh crafting ourselves this anvil perfect all right we definitely oh we need one more okay there we go now we have enough all right so let's build this quickly 
And there we go. We have our anvil. Awesome. So we're going to put the anvil next to the enchantment area. So blast protection, flame, not back. We can actually take that as well. Uh, we have our gear with us. There should be another book here for feather falling. And all right, get our lapis lazuli and we're off and out of here. So we'll just place this like right there for now and we'll get uh, started with the enchantments. So we're going to use the helmet and we're going to get the aqua. Where's the aqua? There it is. Perfect. And it's just to, I don't think we're going to name it because if we name it, it's going to cost more XP and I don't really want to waste that, but we could name it actually. It wouldn't be too bad. We can call it, um, now nah, we're just going to leave it like this. Perfect. That's good enough for us. Let's take that down, put our aqua infinity, let's put our chest plate in there and get our blast protection too. Definitely is going to be good. Perfect. Big upgrade already. And I'm thinking we can even put uh, Feather Falling on our Iron Boots. But, you know, then again, I'd rather save up and use that for another time. Let's put our Diamond Sword and give it, uh, let's put it, I guess, Flame. Is Flame actually for, oh, that's for the Bow and Arrow. And Knock Back, we could do that. But I don't really know if that's going to help us in any way. So let's hold off. Let's put our Bow and put Flame on that. And then we can actually use that for better reasons for the Creepers. And let's see if we can get any more other enchants on this while we're here. Bane and Unbreaking. Not really what I was looking for. Anything else? Efficiency 2. You know, we can get Efficiency 2 on the pickaxe. And then we... Ooh, what was that sound? That was an interesting sound. Um, and do we have any other books that we can actually add? No, we can't. Thorn 1. I forgot what Thorns actually is. Can I use it on like a... I don't know. Let me see. On Really, can I actually use it on a sword no i can't is it for i think it's for protect or for armor if i'm not mistaken thorns yeah it is um you know we could actually add thorn i guess to our chest plate as well then why not that's always a good thing i guess to add uh so blast protection and thorn one it helps with armor and helps with armor toughness so it, it actually is a really good thing all right cool so we have a better uh chest plate for us that's for sure and then knockback one we could definitely put knockback on our let's just put it on our iron sword because, honestly, I don't want to waste any more stuff. Actually, no, you know, we're going to keep that for now. And we'll leave it. All right, that's good enough. The pathway I've been making, let me know what you guys think about this. I think it's really cool. We put a big tree here. We connected it with some leaves. And you kind of just go up here instead of just making this a flat land. So I think that looks good. I want to make another pathway kind of building along as we go in this direction. And this is the little center I've been talking about. Now, I'm going to make this like a tower right here. That's what we're going to work on. Um, and other than that, every direction is going to be a pathway that we're going to have certain builds. And I was thinking this direction right here could be farmland, could be like the barns, could be the animal pens and things like that. And over here, we can have like a kind of like a fishing dock on that side or maybe down there. I'm not sure exactly where, but you know, these are just all ideas. Um, and I'm looking forward to hearing what you guys have to say in the comment sections. But what I wanted to do with the, uh, trap doors was this. I think this looks really cool. I really like this design. I think that looks awesome. Just really simple. And that's kind of what I was going for. And it adds a little bit more character to it. Now, this is just minor details. Uh, we're definitely going to have to do a lot more to this tower. Now, I'm going to try to build maybe a little bit mid medieval. But that's kind of like how all my builds are <laughs> for the past few Let's Plays. But I kind of really like it. And I want to get better at that stuff. So that should be kind of cool. But there you go, guys. Let me know what you think about the start of this little center. It's going to look really cool once it's done and complete. But it's just the progress being made. And I think in the next episode, we'll also you know maybe work on a little bit more here instead of going to the nether. Uh, with that being said, we're actually going to quickly go back home. We're going to get some supplies. And we're going to make our farm, um, kind of start developing our farm on that side just a little bit more. And we'll tame a horse as well. Why not, guys? Let's make this episode a little bit more than what it's all about, just enchanting, because that took too long. Alrighty, guys. So I got kind of like the basic stuff with me. I kind of just made a quick, uh, some quick, a quick meal for us. We got our saddle. We have our iron armor and uh, some basic other needs. So we're actually, what we're going to do, because we do need uh, wheat, we're actually going to just take all of this and replant and use it for our horse, because I do want to tame a horse. And we do have a name tag as well from one of the um, XP, or not XP farms, but the skeleton farm that we found. Um, not farm, but a uh, skeleton uh, mob spawner. And we're actually going to use that eventually to make an XP grinder. So uh, stay tuned for that. We're going to try to work on that in the next few episodes because the more XP we get, the better enchants we can get. So that's something I want to work on. And we're going to try to get as much of this wheat as possible because I know that sometimes horses are difficult to tame. 
I mean, that's just from my past experience. They're not really that easy sometimes for me. So I'm just going to get as much as possible. And all of this is going to go for another farm we're going to make down there. And we are going to actually, sorry chickens, but um, we're going to actually breed a few of you guys here. But in the meantime, I'm going to have to take one of you for lunch probably. No, nah, I'm joking. We're going to leave you guys there. We have enough uh wheat to make some bread if if need be so let's get some fences by before we go uh let's get those fences there we are any more perfect and that should be everything we need right now i'm gonna let you guys uh come up with the decision what to name the horse in the next episode so in the next episode i'll pick a name for the horse because we do have the name tag and let me know what you guys think about that oh this is actually a really cool horse i kind of like that horse a lot actually I might go for that one. Uh, let's see, anything else around here that we really want to try? I would like to get a donkey as well, or whatever you guys want to call them, but they're helpful for building because you can just have more things to store with them. You could put a chest on it. Um, oh, this is a pretty cool horse too. I like that one. Oh, this is awesome. This one's really cool. We can name him Spotty. <laughs> let's see, anything else around here? that? Oh, this one's the one I actually was interested about. This one. I want this one. All right, this is a cool horse. Um, all right, let's get this guy. Let's see. Do you want some food? There we go. All right, please tell me that's more than enough food for you, okay? Definitely more than enough, right? That's more than enough. Are you kidding me? How is that not enough? Come on now. That should be enough, right? There we go. And this looks like it's not really... Oh, there we go. We're good. So now we can actually put ourselves the uh, armor and we can put ourselves the saddle. And check this out, guys. We have our horse... Uh, this is actually really cool. Check this out. It's awesome. We have iron, iron armor on him too. And he's pretty quick. He's not too bad at all. And I really like it. Really simple. It's perfect for what we need. Obviously, we have a lot more, uh, saddles. So we're gonna tame as many of these horses as possible. And we're gonna make a nice stable for them. We can even make, like, a really cool medieval-looking area. Uh, but I like this horse. He's a pretty chill horse. Uh, definitely doesn't have a lot of hearts. But I'm pretty sure he can always, uh, increase his hearts too, if I'm not mistaken. Like, increase his health. So that could be something we can look to do in the future but you know what let me actually try something let me go and try and tame that other horse that we just saw here because we have enough supplies for it that's for sure and we definitely have enough saddles so i'm actually going to try that i'm going to get one more saddle and if those two are going to be first two tamed horses um that would be pretty awesome to have two horses on one episode today is actually a longer episode but i don't mind doing this there's going to be a few cuts like you guys noticed so if you like that definitely let me know in the comment sections but i'm pretty happy with this so far a uh, big improvement so let's go and tame this horse as well i didn't get armor for him but it's not a big deal all right let's eat up there we go and please please be yes there we go what oh there we go yes we got him ah oh, sweet and this is a really quick horse and he's got a lot of hearts. Uh-oh, this is a contender, guys. I think if you guys are okay with this, we're going to make this our main horse. And we'll just keep him for, like, any other things. Because, honestly, it's pretty cool to have a few horses around here that we can just, um, you know, just hang around with. So, um, pretty happy about that. All right, so I'm pretty happy with this. We have two awesome horses. For now, let's actually build a small little uh, stable for them here. So they can just hang around right about here. There we go. Just eat some of the grass. There we go. Perfect. And we need to get this guy inside, too. I forgot about that. So let's actually hop on over. Break this little piece and place a block. Jump over. Do not jump over that block. Good job. All right. Let's go inside your safety little area. Perfect. So we have two horses. Let me know what we should name them. Obviously, the one that we got second is the quickest and strongest horse. So he's going to be the one we're going to name for tomorrow's episode. But yeah, guys, I'm really happy. We did a lot of progress today, as I mentioned. And we're definitely going to be working on our farm a lot more. But I'm really happy we got two horses. I showed you guys we did some enchants as well. Some really decent enchants on some stuff here. And other progress I've been working on. So I'll see you guys next time in the Minecraft Server Let's Play. Peace out. My name is Alex, and stay foxy.